Bunny here. Welcome to my sacred space of healing and love. We are going to do your bonus love read, okay? Um, you earned a bonus read. Let's see who else? Gemini and Capricorn, okay? So we're gonna do yours first because I wrote you down first. So because you had the most views. Rock on Aquarius, my rebellious mother effers. All right, um, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then if you count my tarot deck, that's 13 decks. So these are all of my love decks. We get really in depth with these bonus love reads. Um, we find out a lot about your person, a lot about your connection, and all of that junk. So you all really do want to earn these bonus love reads. Trust me, you do. <laughs> so <clears throat> to um, earn the bonus love reads, you just have to um, like and share the videos. Usually um, I will choose who has the most views on my shorts. So if I do like, you know, the little shorts videos, um, whoever gets the most views from those, I will take and do a bonus read for. So share for your sign. If you know, if you are an Aquarius, you know, share to all your Aquarius friends to get those likes up on the shorts. And, you know, it helps me to get my channel out there, helps me to get in the algorithm. And it also, it earns you guys a freaking bonus read. So, I mean, what's not to like about that? <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna. I think I'm gonna start out with this deck. Um, this is the Bodhi Tarot, and I've already cleansed the space. I've already saged. Whoa, geez, they gave us three. Um, reading for Aquarius bonus love read. Um, I saged and then I Palo Santoed yesterday, and I also sound cleansed with my bell. So this one came up first. Certain relationships in your life are ending. It may be painful, but trust there's a bigger plan for you. <clears throat> so a lot of us are, it's Scorpio season, sucks. Um, I'm a Scorpio rising. So yeah, um, Scorpio season is about transitioning into our higher selves. But in order for that to happen, there has to be a lot of little deaths. There has to be a lot of like, um, transformations, endings, and those things are not pleasant, like not at all. And so if, you know, first of all, if there's, if you are going through some type of relationship ending, let me just go ahead and give you a big hug. Now this is not a personal reading, so it's not going to resonate with everyone, but you'll know if it resonates with you. Like, you know, you can comment down below. It's your story or not. Um, doesn't matter. All right, so new connections and new relationships that are more aligned to you are entering your life. So I was just saying, in order for new things to come in, other things have to die. So there's a connection that's dying. There's a new connection coming in, Aquarius. So don't stress out about it. Um, the last card says you're giving too much and not leaving anything for yourself. You may feel drained. Establish boundaries in your relationships. Okay, so be careful of giving too much of yourself and too much of your energy and too much of your time right off the bat to this new connection because you know and and that's the thing Aquarius like um none of us are you know immune to that like when you first get a really great connection after not having one for a really long time or being in a you know worse like a crappy one you're going to want to give like 110%. Make sure you hold a little bit back. Keep a little bit of your energy. Sorry if you're hearing that squeaking. That's my chair that I'm sitting on. Um, these kitchen chairs are very squeaky. Um, but make sure you're saving some energy for yourself because you don't want to give so much of your energy, love energy to this person that you feel drained and then they will start to run away because they will feel smothered. So just be careful of that energy. Um, not that I think Aquarius does that because Aquarius is very like, I don't give a crap about you type energy, like not in a bad way. <laughs> they're just, they're either like all in or all out and they can be very like, it's very easy for Aquariuses to detach. So, you know, 
most of the time people don't even know when an Aquarius is or even into them because it's really hard to tell. <laughs> so I'm not saying that like, you know, you're giving too much, but you know, spirit is just saying to be mindful that that doesn't happen. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So what are we doing next? Um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to do this deck. I don't know. I'm just going as guided. Like I'm not going in a specific order. We're reading for Aquarius doing their bonus read. So connecting now to the collective energy of the Aquarius that watch me. Tuning into their spirit guides, my spirit guides. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's rock it out. All right, what do they need to know about this connection? Oh, Lord have mercy, that flew out. Impeccability. Minds like an ocean. Wow. So this is about letting your thoughts just flow freely, right? It's it's, it's about flowing. Um it's about flowing like water, allowing your thoughts to flow easily and peacefully, right? But it's also about impeccability. So this is about having a clear, sharp mind. It's about having clarity about something, right? The dolphins also represent intelligence. So I feel like you're very intelligent, Aquarius. And wow, look, there's, let's see, one, two, three five there's five dolphins there's a female with her arms outreached um as almost as if she's receiving something and she's getting these beautiful downloads that are coming into her crown chakra from her angels so i feel like right now your mind is like crystal clear your crown chakra is popping, right? And so you're getting all these beautiful downloads in regards to this connection. So be prepared for that, all right? Be prepared to receive these messages from your spirit guides, from your angels. And also, like, because you're so intelligent, Aquarius, like, I feel like you might have to, like, because you're so logical and so intelligent, my beautiful Aquariuses, you tend to sort of be overly logical it's like when the messages come in you go oh, i'm not sure that's what it is trust it trust that what you're feeling not necessarily what you're thinking but what you're feeling is correct okay that's how you'll know because they're saying your mind is like the ocean it's so vast and it's so powerful and you have a tendency to have to let your thoughts just flow you know, you don't try to control them. And sometimes you get a thought and you go, hmm, is that my thought or is that my spirit guides or what is that? So you'll be able to tell the difference because when you get a message from your spirit guides, you'll feel it as well as hear it in your mind. Okay, it'll come in the form of a strange emotion, right? That feels almost overwhelming with the thought, if that makes sense. That's how you'll know what's coming from your spirit, guys. Wow. Wisdom. Dream flight. See, I was just saying how you were incredibly um, intelligent. And there, there it is. We have wisdom. So you're going to be using that inner wisdom when this new connection comes in. And also, this, this person might show up in your dreams. We have the words dream flight. The Pegasus also represents... Um, going through an intense spiritual transition. So, you know, there might be something else in regards to this connection that sort of transforms, transforms you in a good way, you know? Whew. It's crazy. All right, why don't I'm going to do this? This is a tarot deck, but it's my psychic tarot of the heart. Because I want to see um, what else they can tell us about this connection. Can we get two cards for Aquarius in regards to this connection? Um, I might use the other tarot deck depending on what comes out with this deck. I'm not sure yet. What can you tell me a little bit more about this connection that's coming in for Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? What do they need to look out for? 
Oh man, look at that Aquarius. Number nine, dreams coming true. So this is definitely a long awaited wish coming true in the form of this connection. And with the little universe symbol, it feels like a cosmic connection. Like you may, oh, there's your other card, challenging times. So it's coming right after a really challenging time in your life. Like right now, you know, this is five, five of swords. So you may have been going through a really, really, really tough time, like with this past connection that's ending and it, I feel like it didn't end in a, in a good way. Like with the five of swords, that shows me like a lot of conflicts, um, a lot of hard lessons there. Your last connection might have been very argumentative, argumentative, like I keep seeing um, an image of two people constantly at each other's throats, in each other's face. And you were just like, this is not how love feels. Like this is not, <clears throat> something about it felt off for you. You know, beside all the fighting, you were just like, at times you even questioned if this person even liked you in any way. It was like, this. so this would be the type of person that like, when they would get upset or angry, they were just like, say mean things to you. And you were just like, that's completely unnecessary. And then you just felt, you felt almost like they were trying to tear you down. And so this new connection that's going to come in is going to feel very refreshing. It's going to be like a complete contrast of what. Of what the other relationship was. This is the Nine of Cups. Which is a wish being fulfilled. Aquarius. Alright. No I'm going to do this one. This love oracle. Let's see what they have to, to tell us. What else about this connection? How is this going to be like a wish coming true? For Aquarius. Can we get some more hints about this connection, please? Thank you. You guys, I love doing these bonus love reads. They're so intricate. And wow, everything that happened was meant to happen. It just crashing and burning for a reason, Aquarius. Look at that. Divine intervention. So this is all divinely orchestrated. Spirit is holding your freaking hand. They they took you out of that connection because they 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 have a bigger plan for you, my darling. It's all crashing and burning for a reason. See, look at there's hookup. So this past connection, the one that's dying out, it could have been. They could have hooked up with someone else. That could have been what completely collapsed the your guys' connection. Or this could mean this was a temporary hookup. You guys were never meant for the long haul. Okay? They, you just weren't. But look, this new... This new connection, magnetic attraction. And it's a divinely guided connection. Everything's leading up to this moment, the magnetic attraction. You guys were meant to, to run into each other, right? It's a magnetic attraction. It means that, you know, you guys are drawn to each other's energy. Come in. Okay, let's see what else we got, Aquarius. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do my spirit deck. See what, what else they have to say about this connection. So we know that it's very strong and that it was divinely orchestrated by both of your guides. Okay, we already know that. There's no doubting that. Okay, 
<clears throat> this one flew out. Ooh, look at that. We have piercings. So is my phone on silent? No, it isn't. So let me go ahead and put that on silent. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> so your person has piercings. I mean, you could have piercings too, but I doubt it. Like, I mean, I'm not saying that you don't have piercings. I'm not doubting the fact that you have piercings or could have piercings. But what I'm saying is, you know, I made this deck to give us like insights into your person but also like there's random messages in here in this deck i created this deck um and i just wrote on a Marilyn um like a oh gosh what are these decks called i don't know they're like um playing cards and i just wrote on them with like marker so but i i put random messages on here so <clears throat> this would be your person's energy. So they have piercings, okay? That would be a clue as to your new connection. They have piercings, Aquarius. They also have hazel eyes. Look at that. We're going to do one more from here, please, Spirit. This is why I love doing these readings. Because Spirit be getting going all out for y'all, for real. For some of you, it's an Aries. We have Aries, hazel eyes, piercings. Okay. All right. Nice. So you might want to write some of those down. Let's do some romance angels and see what they have to say about this connection. All right. What else can we tell um, Aquarius about this connection with the romance angels? I really want to keep this reading short and sweet, but <laughs> with all these decks, who knows? We're going to try. What else do you have for Aquarius? Ooh, look at that. We have chemistry. Again, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. That's what it says. You can't make it up. Can you see that? There's a strong magnetic attraction here. We had magnetic attraction twice. Ooh, we Aquarius. It's a great day to be an Aquarius. Y'all are screwed. This is the one. Oh, this chemistry feels really nice. Oof. You are going to be, both of you are so, are going to be so freaking attracted to each other. It's going to be like tss, instant hot. Look at this. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Oh, man. Oh, man. Very soon. Very soon. How soon is very soon, Aquarius? I really want to know how soon is very soon. <laughs> I wish there was a way to tell. Let's do some tarot. Maybe they'll tell us with the tarot. Let's see. All right. Can you give us a clue as to, like, how soon is very soon? Can we get a time frame maybe with these cards? I don't know how we do how we would do that, but like maybe give us a hint. Like if it's you know nine of pentacles, it's like a time when they're going through abundance, or you know what I mean? Something. Give us something. Let's see. We can we can try to discern. I don't know. Okay, how soon is very soon? <clears throat> I just heard before the end of the month, but I don't know if that's accurate. So let's see. Can you give us a hint as to a time frame for Aquarius, please? Page of Pentacles. Okay, so it's going to be around a time when you're doing something new um, in regards to like schooling, learning something. Um, it could just be like a new business adventure that you're embarking on. Um, if you're an entrepreneur, it's when you start something new in regards to your business. Um, you know, if it, it's some, when you're doing something new. So either starting a class, um, starting a new business adventure, um, maybe going on a new traveling trip. Um, but it's going to be something in regards to when you do something new in regards to money. 
So like, for example, you're going back to night school because you want to take a class to, you know, earn more money doing whatever it is that you're doing, or you want to learn a new skill set. Or if you're an entrepreneur, you know, you're traveling for your job to look into new investments, right? Something like that. That's when you'll meet them. When you're focused on your work. Ooh, look at that. Knight of Swords. Ooh, this is going to come in pretty quickly, too. Look at that. They want to communicate already. Like, they might be keeping tabs on you now because the page also represents someone watching. So, it feels like they've already been watching you for a while and they want to come forward, like, with this energy very quickly. I feel like the communication is coming in quickly. Seven of Wands. So there's something about this connection that's going to make you feel a little bit like... There's going to be something about this connection between you guys that is not going to make sense. So, because there's this energy, the Seven of Wands is the energy of like, wanting to defend your connection so for some of you it's going to be something like an age gap like you'll be much older than them or they'll be much older than you and there's going to be something weird like that or people are going to look at you and be like this doesn't make sense right and you're gonna I feel like you know, you're not going to feel the need to defend your relationship, but other people are going to try to, other people are going to try to like, um, almost goad you into like defending your relationship. They're going to be like, oh, well, why are you with him when this and this, or why are you with her when this and this? And it could be something else. It might not even be an age gap for some of you. It'll be like, one makes more money than the other or um, one um, you guys will be different religions or come from different backgrounds or something like that and it's going to make people and I feel like especially their family question like why are you with her if she's this you know we've never been into stuff like that you know what I mean and then they're going to try to get you to defend your connection and please remember that you you don't have to do that Never, never do you have to do that. You're in this relationship and nobody else is. You and this person, there's no need to defend anything. I would take the high road and just tell them to fuck off energetically and don't even, don't even give them the time of day. Because look at this, Aquarius. This is your Ace of Cups. There is the energy of a new relationship and a new connection. And it's not a crappy one. Look at that. It's the Ace of Cups. What else do we have about this connection? Ooh, look at that. So this person is very, very patient too. It's funny because even though they're like, I feel like they've been patient for a while. They might have watched you like be with other people or they might have like tried to time their entrance into your life, if that makes sense. It's sun and moon, too. Look at that. This person is being guided by their spirit guides, first of all, to you, to get to the right divine timing. And remember how we had that divine intervention? So they were waiting for the right timing, right? And they were really patient. But now their patience is wearing thin. They're, they can't wait any longer. The energy feels very urgent now. But it's because they've been patient for too long. Yeah, so they know that you've been through a heartbreak recently. And that's why maybe they've been holding back. They've been very, very patient. Maybe they know that you've had your heart broken before in the past by other people. 
Yes, look at that Knight of Pentacles. See, they've been very patient. They've been planning and planning their moves. Oh, look at this Ace of Swords. So they've been planning their communication tactic. Look at that. For a while, they've seen you go through a lot of drama. Wow. Okay, so what else can you tell us about this person for Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know about this person, please? Look, they've been up in their head a lot about it. Five of Swords. So they've been... If other people were talking about you to them trying to change their mind about this connection. They were defending you. And here's the thing. I feel like for a long time they were conflicted because for a while they were like in their head about it. They were like, well, maybe that maybe they're right. It's like maybe I shouldn't pursue this connection. Right. But in the end, it, it didn't matter. This is a very specific storyline, I feel like. Oh, look at that. Wow. Yeah, they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. So they see you as someone who's a very, like, self-made, like an entrepreneur, very, like, boss energy. And it's very tantalizing and, um, dist I was going to say desirable, but then I wanted to say distracting. So they, they do, they find you very distracting. It's like they can't focus on their work because they are so caught up in this desire and fascination with you. They see you as someone who's had a lot of growth too. So you might have known them for a while. But they see you as someone who's very seductive and um, desirable. Like almost like a very earthy type goddess energy. Um, it drives them crazy. They see you as very self-made. Look, Queen of Cups. So, one or both of you is open to this connection. If this is for a divine um, feminine that I'm reading for, um, you're probably a mother. That's my mother's card, um, along with the Queen of Pentacles. But you're like a self-made mother. like So if you have kids, I feel like you've been able to take care of them on your own. They see that and they love that. They feel like the timing is now because they feel like you're ready. You're open. And there's that crown chakra being activated again. You're getting all these informations and downloads and synchronicities about your person anyways. So, Eight of Cups, you let go of something. You burn that bitch down, walked away into your highest timeline. And look at what's after that. Look, Ten of Cups. So, whatever it is, let this old connection go. I see that you are letting it go. You, you walked away from something. And we could tell from the past energy, it keeps coming up. You let go of an old connection. You set it on fire and you walked away. You cut the cords to everything. And if you haven't, you should. Because look what's next. The Ten of Cups. All right, we're going to move on. Um, let's do the Manara. Let's see what the Manara has to say. So this does have erotic images. So I'm going to try to cover the naughty parts. <laughs> Why we have to do that? Well, because YouTube will censor us. Or they'll, you know, shadow ban us. And then we won't. Nobody will get notified of our videos. And then we'll have to put a disclaimer for the kids. Not for kids. And they'll put an adult content thing on here. And it's really stupid. They'll make it restricted. And... What else for Aquarius? Okay, so there's a little booty, so I'm going to cover it up. The pain hidden by luxury. 
So this comes up often for Aquarius. It's number 33, um, which is a ascended master's number. It's a number of alignment and being aligned with your guides. Be careful, Aquarius, of using... Um, Sorry, my kids are... I was listening to them. Be careful of, of buying things to comfort yourself. So I feel like you might have a tendency to like deal with painful things in your life by buying things because it says pain hidden by luxury. So be careful not to use retail therapy as like a way to deal with your pain. The best way to get over pain is to feel it, to see it. You know what I'm saying? Feel it, allow it to center into your body and then go through it. Okay. One sec. Okay. Yeah. So be careful of using retail therapy. You want to feel the feelings instead. And trust me, um, I'm not even judging you because I do the same thing. I'm Leo. We love retail therapy. So girl, boy, I mean, I feel it. Trust me. <laughs> trust me. I do. I'll be using retail therapy like a mug. All right. So I was going to use that one, but let's do the self-love deck and see if we have any shadows that we're dealing with right now, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. So no more spending money unnecessarily because we have a boo-boo on our hearts, Aquarius. Okay, no more of that. Keep your hands out of your wallet. Sit on them. Cut your credit cards. Knock it off. We're not going to go broke in the year of 2024, you know, just because we have a heartache, right? I got you, Aquarius. If you need me to be your um, spending buddy to, to like, to... Like, every time you want to spend money, I can be, like, your buddy. Like, just call me and be like, I want to spend money. And I'm going to be like, no. No, you don't. Stop. Bitch, stop. Yeah, see, look. We have never enough 81. It's coming up as a problem. So, this is the energy of, like, wanting more. Like, again, with the retail therapy thing. Be careful of like when this new connection comes in. It's number 81, so it's nine. Um, there's a lot of hearts at this woman's foot, at this woman's foot, feet. So, and okay, I completely understand this energy because I tend to do this too. It's like a guy comes and wants to approach me and I'm like, no, no. And I immediately go into shut time. I don't even give him a chance. So be careful of that energy. Be careful of like doing that. Because if you do that, <laughs> you could end up um, turning away the one. And it's funny because I feel like they won't give up. So, you know, what's for you is, is always going to be for you. But I'm pretty sure their feelings will get hurt. He's got a hole in his heart. Right? So be careful to not be like, no, look at that. You better give in to this, Aquarius. Because look, you have orgasm. It's number 15. So this is talking about some mind-blowing tantric sex. And also, number 15, you add 5 and 1, it's 6. So this is a spiritual connection. Number 6 is the number of spirituality. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not just a normal Joe Schmo connection. Okay, I don't even know what I'm going to call your reading yet. All right, we're going to do a Power of Love activation card for you. Um, and then I think we'll move on to the Whispers of Love. We'll get some final character traits of your person. And then do the message from your person. And we're done, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed this bonus read. If something resonated, please like, please subscribe. It's completely free to you. 
What else do we have for my aquas? I don't know. This is going to be a hell of a bumper ride. Let me just say that for you. Elevation. Wow. Look at that. See, it's because you have, you're like super high vibe right now. Look at that. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. I just said that. I didn't even read the card until now. See, you're raising your vibration. So because you've raised your vibration to the vibration of love, and elevated yourself to this super high pedestal of spiritual growth, your person has to meet you at your vibe, okay? So they have to reach that state of elevation. Maybe that's why it took so long for them to be able to make that move because they knew they wanted you from the jump, but they weren't at your level, if that makes sense. I keep hearing they weren't there. They're there now. Sorry, there's something in my eye and I'm trying to get it. They're there now, Aquarius. They jumped on it like a horse. Y'all going to be screwing like horses too. I really want to call your reading screwing like horses, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> YouTube would not allow that. Why is my freaking eye... Frick is going on here. All right, <clears throat> let's go on to the whispers of love. Oh, yeah. FYI, the sexual tension between y'all is insane. <clears throat> All of a sudden, I just got really sleepy. Like, you know that feeling like after you have really great sex and you just want to go to sleep? That's what it feels like. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They love Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> now I'm just being dumb. Ooh. Love is all around you, Aquarius. Look at that. Number 16. So you're going through, you're entering a lucky period. Oof. Everything's going to start falling into place. So you're having a lot of luck. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. So... Since you've raised your vibration to the vibration of unconditional love, you've learned not just to love yourself, but also to love others unconditionally. And raising your vibration to that frequency of love, you're able to literally see love all around you, Aquarius. When you walk outside to see the love of nature, to see the love of the animals, to see in couples around you wherever you go. This will be another clue too that your person's on the way. You'll see couples everywhere. You'll see just different versions of love. Like you'll see mothers and children like, you know, playing and loving on each other. You know, you'll see like nurturing around you and stuff like that. You'll be seeing different forms of love. Platonic, romantic, um... And it's just going to be everywhere you look. You won't be able to escape it. That's how you know that'll be one of the signs and symbols and synchronicities that this has to do with your person, right? That they're going to be on the way. All right, let's get some character traits of your person. Can we get three character traits for Aquarius' person, please? Hmm, what's wrong with this deck? Can we get three? Ooh, one of them just flew out. Okay, so we have LGBTQT, so that's self-explanatory. If you are a same-sex couple, there's your, there's your confirmation. This reading is for you. Or maybe your person ha is transitioning from one sex to another. There's another confirmation, air sign. So Gemini, Libra, or another Aquarius. Or they have air in their charts. I know we got Aries earlier too. 
so they can have air and fire in their charts. What else? So they're really good at growing plants or, you know, they work, maybe they're a gardener, maybe they work at a greenhouse or maybe they just have a lot of plants all over their house. I think that's what it is because I'm seeing a house filled with plants. So if this person, you walk in their house, there's plants everywhere, boom. <laughs> they might be like bisexual too, like, um, or, you know, it could be same sex. I don't know. Either way, take it how it resonates for you. All right. And we are going to do your final message from your person. I hope you enjoyed this read, Aquarius. Like I said, if something resonated, comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. All free to support my channel. Please. And thank you. I love you all so much. And I'm really busting my butt to... Um, grow this channel so I appreciate all the help I can get y'all growing a channel on YouTube is not easy trust me like I wasn't really like motivated to do it for the really longest time and now I'm just like all in sink or swim I've po been posting every every month since July now so look it says we're completely in sync this person feels like you're their mirror Feels very twin flamey. I'm not going to say if it is or not, but they feel like, oh my God, my nose is so itchy. My allergies are acting up. They feel like you're completely in sync with them. They feel like you guys are marrying each other. I can't chase you anymore. So someone's a runner and a chaser. There it is, that twin flamey energy again. One of you has been chasing. Take that how it resonates. Whichever side is chasing, they don't want to. They can't do it anymore. They're they're giving up the chase. They're just like. They're like, I'm giving it up to the universe. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> they're like, it's too hard. Oh, look at that. It is a past life connection. I told you. Twin flamey. I remember you. Their soul remembers you. It's a very deep connection. If one or both of you stop chasing, I can guarantee the universe will find a way to bring you guys back together somehow. This is very faded type energy. The fact that you guys are completely in sync, you've shared a lot of the same lessons And the fact that this person remembers you or you remember them and we have a runner and a chaser dynamic, it feels, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably a twin flame connection. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Anyways, um, yeah, that's all we got. Uh, Wow. Okay. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. I love you. If you want to um, purchase the reading with me, just click on my description box below. And just be aware and aware of this, that I'm going to be raising my prices soon. Like, you know, I want people to have access to me. Yes. Um, I want everyone to have access to me. Like, not just the elites that, you know, or people that make a lot of money. I wanted to make my readings more affordable. But at this price, I get really overbooked really quickly and really exhausted and spent and, and you know, just worn out without getting a lot of profit back. So I'm going to be raising my prices back up and they're going to be even higher than they were before, just so y'all know. So um, be aware of that. If you want to get your reading in now, now is the time to do it because in the middle of the month, I'm going to raise my prices back up. Maybe even in the second week in November. So just, you know, be prepared for that. All right. Love you. Bye.